carbon fiber beam because the industry says, okay, you want that carbon fiber beam? Hope you're willing to pay for it. So we can manufacture it themselves. How do I know that? Because I took this beam, which happens to be stainless steel, for bridge beams, that's a no maintenance type beam. I don't know if you guys can hone in on that. And we called up California and they said, sure, we can build you an autoclave, 12 foot autoclave, about a quarter of a million dollars. I says, no problem, I'll get back to you in the morning. We went to Elko, Nevada and we built the autoclave, right? For less than $5,000 out of 55 gallon drums. An autoclave has pressure, heat, and vacuum. Simple. They said we couldn't do it. We did it. We not only produced carbon fiber, right? We ended up producing a piece that was thicker than anything the industry or university has ever made before. This piece came out to be approximately two inches by three inches, homogeneously cured. We took it to a couple of carbon fiber people and they want to know how we did that. We took it to the manufacturer that gave us the carbon fiber. They want to know how you did that. I, 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 had, I, had, I, I had a lapse. I couldn't remember how we did it, but we did it. So being a chemistry major, I know the chemistry, okay? We can do this ourselves. We don't need, if, if they're gonna gouge us on the price, we'll do it ourselves. The mechanics, and in this list over here, we turn around and I have a list of an R&D shop, which I had a, a young man from, that was the senior analyst for uh, Goodyear Rubber, uh, Dan Rocap, uh, gave me a number on what it would cost. So these numbers over here for $2.8 million is just the machinery that's gonna take to set up an R&D lab, a metal fabrication shop, a welding shop, a machine shop, six protrusion machines and six uh, mold injection machines, plus overhead cranes and any other tools that we need to run. And I estimated about a 200,000 square foot building, which is enormous. But once you set these 200 foot protrusion machines up, you're gonna run out of room. The bottom piece over here simply says that a protrusion machine can produce carbon fiber at about three to six inches per minute. So I took the low end and I said three inches per minute if I produce carbon fiber at three inches per minute, at 60 minutes in a day, that gives me uh, 4,320 inches per day. If you divide that by a 20 foot beam, which is twice the length of this, that, that brings it down to 18 beams a day. That don't sound like a lot, okay? But if you got 18 beams running 45 weeks a year, and I, I figured 45 weeks if you have breakdowns or, you know, kid catches a cold and we got to shut it down or revamp or anything. The bottom line is we're producing 4,050 beams per year per one machine. We can sell these beams, a standard 36 inch girder steel beam runs about $200 a linear foot. Our, our price, we can kick it out the door wrapped in steel and everything else for about $821, all right? That gives us a, a profit of a year per one machine of $3,327,480. Uh, per machine. So if you, you can do the math, if you have six machines running, uh, that's what we're asking for. But most of this was, I want a I'm asking for enough to set up a totally self-sufficient shop so we don't have to depend on anybody because this right here, they're going to charge you five to six hundred percent more than what they're paying for it. And th that would take this whole idea and just blow it right out of water. We couldn't compete with the market. Just handed this little piece of paper and it was a biggie that we had worked on as far as protecting our investors. All right, the products that we're into, they all have to be tested. But how do you protect the investor?
that's going to put in 10, 20 million dollars. All right. I'm not a genius when it comes to numbers, but I do know how to protect my corporation. All right. And it's been suggested to us not only for the patents and the amendments and the changes that we make and anything that we build as far as bridge beams, there's standards on it. There's standards on a bridge beam right now. If you use steel, there's certain standards. Somebody wrote those standards, right? This is a new product. There's nothing out there like it. We will actually have the advantage to write the standards on anything that we create, all right? Making sure that our investors are totally protected. And anything else that we can add to, you know, to that, we'll do. Uh, so we're at a point now where we're trying to uh, entice investors to get involved in this new technology. And you can see it's endless. I had to shut the phone off and the emails uh, because I was just inundated with, with, can you do this? Can you make that stronger? Uh, where, where can we do? And it was just like, I didn't have a factory to make the first beam, right? And that's what we're hoping that we can entice somebody that believes in this the way we do, okay? And, and work with us. So I want to thank all my friends and everybody that, and the people that have taken the time out to come and, and spend with us to get educated. And uh, I'm sure that at the end of the website, we'll have all the information you need to contact us and get in touch with us. And my email numbers and my personal cell number, and I'll be delighted to talk to anybody that wants to give us the time.